Siren has always stood out to me as a series that never took off enough to stand in the same light as Resident Evil or Silent Hill, but left a lasting impression and brought something new to the survival horror genre. Its mix of haunting locations, eerie and grotesque enemies, pitting you in actual darkness and a soundtrack that still gives me chills to this day, truly made it memorable and terrifying. Loosely based on the PlayStation 2 games Forbidden Siren 1 and 2, Blood Curse slash New Translation aim to retell the story with an approach that appeals more to Westerners. Now, usually I'd say that's a bad move, but in this case, I think it worked. It didn't lose any of the horror, it updated a few gameplay elements, and still immersed you in this horrifically cursed world. Here, I'd like to look at the covers for the release, and even though you'll find that there isn't much difference between them, there's still plenty to talk about. And as usual, be warned, heavy spoilers ahead. Visually striking, bold colours, and a creepy and unsettling backdrop really tells you a lot about what this game's going to be. The European slash North American cover has a very simple design, essentially only made up of two colours, red and white, with shadowing playing a large role. The white lettering of the title stands out really well against the red and has some nice detailing to it as well, with the ray shadowing effect, the slightly worn and eroded parts, and the darkened areas that look very reminiscent of film grain and film strip. The effects being against a white colour also appears a lot like a film projector. That simple but effective detail is a very nice touch and goes to symbolise the story of the American film crew that have come to investigate and document the strange stories from the village of Hanuda. It could also be a reference to the fact that with the reimagining, the game is presented more like a television show by having it in episodes with coming up and previously on segments before and after each one. Being a horror game, it would seem like the red liquid background could easily be understood to be blood. And that's a fair assumption, as there is a lot of blood in this game and it's clearly marketed as horror. But for those who are aware of the story, it's actually more likely to be the red water that appears in the village which comes from an inferno that was created by an alien creature known as Kaiko that caused the curse to begin in the first place. The village's water all turns red and it appears to rain blood. This causes the creatures known as Shibito to appear once a living body is killed. The blood rain then resurrects their corpses. Due to that piece of knowledge, it's a bit clearer now that the shapes on the cover are actually water droplets, as the blood rain begins to fall and turn the village to crimson, especially as the rainfall becomes heavier and areas start to flood. What's clear from the get-go is that these two covers are extremely similar, with the only changes really being that the title has changed layout and colour, there is a subheading, and the red colouring is a little less vibrant. In Japan, this release is known as Siren New Translation, which is there to show that this is a reimagining, a retelling of a familiar story, but with many differences that set it apart from its original basis, Forbidden Siren 1 and 2. It's a great choice to call it a New Translation, as that seems to carry a heavy religious meaning, much like how there have been many different translations of religious texts in many faiths to spread the word of their beliefs and gain more followers. In the game, mana is a religion that bears its own writing style, and it's unknown if it's something that's taught to the followers, or if they are able to translate it once they become Shibito. From a creator standpoint, you could also take the title to mean taking a story and putting their own vision out there, something different from its original message, basically remaking and retelling the story, translating it in a new way. The colour used is vastly different, the opposite in fact, for the title. Instead of bright and bold white, they've instead gone for a deep black. It still looks really good and gives off another very unsettling atmosphere, like we're getting lost in the darkness of the village and we're surrounded by the red water. Even though it has the same effect overlaying the lettering as the previous version, I feel it's lost the details that could refer to the film crew, due to the black used instead of the white, but it does bring something new to it. The effect of it looking old and worn, as if it's felt the effect of time. The mana religion is centuries old and is kept alive by the inhabitants of the village and the mysterious power that resides there. The teachings, the scripture, the very existence of the belief system itself, passed down through generations and survived a very long time. At this point, you may have already noticed that there is a large hiragana symbol to the right hand side that's slightly cut off as it leaves the frame. This particular character is Sa, and it's unclear whether it's part of a word or sentence or just a single character on its own. Due to it being Sa, I think it's safe to assume that it's spelling out Siren, 
the Japanese way of writing it, or at least inferring it. Normally, this would actually be written in katakana, not hiragana, just like how they've done so in their previous releases of Forbidden Siren. But, as they very prominently pointed out, this is a new translation. With an interesting twist on its story and lore, what's one more mysterious change? One thing I thought of while looking at these covers was the heavy use of red. Now, we already know why that is, the red water, that's what it's showing. But one thing did catch my eye when doing a little more research into the game and its story. There are two characters that primarily wear the colour red, and those are the young Bella Monroe and Amana. During the story, Bella is sent back hundreds of years and ends up eating the dying body of Kaiko to survive and is cursed with immortality. To try and rectify her mistake, she revives the religion of Mana to worship Kaiko as a god with the intention of resurrecting it. Over the many centuries that pass, Bella forgets who she is and eventually becomes a Mana. This time loop is what essentially causes the events to happen and the misery she inflicts on herself. The red used on the cover could also be a subtle hint to the game's plot twist due to the red being very noticeable colours on them. The shadowing on the sides, both the Japanese character and the left hand side, could also be a nod to this, like a shadow of oneself or a former life. For a first in this series, and I've been hoping we could look at something fun from there, we have an entry from South Korea, and this is where things start to get really interesting. As with the previous covers, the background is the same ripples in the red water, this time it's not as vibrant as the European slash North American, but it's also not as dark as the Japanese either. The shadowy hiragana for Sa is there, the title is the same worn black font as the Japanese cover, and is once again called Siren New Translation. But this time, we have three large black Japanese kanji above the title, and some white Korean hangul underneath with a nice banner background to make it stand out. The really fun part is that the above and below aren't just direct translations of the title, both of them have different meanings. The Japanese text above reads, Dead Soul Song, and the Korean text below reads, The Siren of the Four Souls, New Translation. The aforementioned Dead Soul Song is likely in reference to Hoshin Goika, a hymn that is sung by the village's religious sect in their worship to Kaiko. The song itself is translated as Holy Song of Reverence to God, and describes how the followers yearn for their God to appear to them, that they will present three holy signs to it, and in return, it shall guide them to paradise. As for the Korean line, the Siren of the Four Souls, it references the legend that talks of an ancient force that was sealed away by the four sacred spirits of the Mana religion, each represented by a man, a lion, a bull, and an eagle. These spirits also have a lot to do with the sacred sword that must be used by Howard at the end of the game to defeat Kaiko. If this was just a simple choice between the western and Japanese cover, then the bold white would win every time. It's just got this great look about it, stands out so well, and I feel holds a lot of meaning in the way it's shown. But the Korean entry really has got its own great thing going on with the three language text used and the interesting wording for the titles and subheading. If it was presented with the same white text, then it would be perfect. But as it is, I have to say that the best one in my opinion has to be the vibrant red with the white lettering. While I prefer the Japanese title of New Translation and the added text of the Korean one, Blood Curse just stands out that much more. Thanks for watching, and let me know which one is your favourite.